Anthropic just put out computer use for automating operations. What Claude allows you to do now is effectively control your computer. There is a new capability via their API. You can run a script locally, whether you're using TypeScript, Python, and from there, what it will do is it will start to take screenshots of what you have on the screen, and then it will have the ability to move the mouse to the position on the screen, have the ability to click and interact as if it was using your mouse and keyboard. And what's really interesting with this is they're the first frontier lab company to really offer something this out there and this innovative. In terms of this type of offering, there are a number of open source projects that effectively try to do something similar. But what's interesting with this is now they're integrating this directly into the Anthropic API. We can start to think about how to use computers a little bit differently. Because right now the internet is really vast. There's not like a uniform API that we can just interact with and set up all these function calling capabilities within our LLM applications. It's a very broad set of how people use the internet, how websites are set up, and having something general that's able to both use local apps as well as things like our web browser can potentially unlock a ton of new use cases. Now, I think the thing that's interesting with this is we really have to start to frame and think about how to potentially use this. What are the use cases for this? With a lot of these LLM applications, we've seen a ton of different web app implementations of them, but this stands to usher in an era of building out desktop applications now, because if we're able to have an application and it can control our computer like this and be relatively general, it goes without saying that this can unlock a ton of different use cases that we might not even have an idea for quite yet. Let's just go over their announcement and blog post that they had today. Introducing computer use, a new Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and Claude 3.5 Haiku. Within the blog announcement, they mentioned we're announcing an upgraded Claude 3.5 Sonnet, as well as a new model Claude 3.5 Haiku. No mention of Claude 3.5 Opus. Like a lot of people were potentially expecting, the computer use capability is still experimental. It is still in beta and they're releasing an early prototype to get feedback from developers and to expect that the capabilities will improve over time. This is available today and it's available across the Anthropic API, Amazon Bedrock, as well as Google Cloud. Claude 3.5 Haiku is going to be released later this month, so within a week or so. Now, in terms of the capability, a lot of people are really going to probably be focused on the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model. This is arguably the best model for a ton of different tasks, including coding. So today on the Human Eval benchmark, just to give you an idea, Claude 3.5 Sonnet was previously at 92%, and today it's at 93.7%. And, and you can see basically across the board that we have improved performance, including agentic coding. So this is up to 49%, whereas previously it was at 33.4%. Now, one notable thing that they mentioned within the blog post that on the agentic coding evaluation benchmark, that this scores higher than all publicly available models, including OpenAI's O1 preview model. In terms of Claude 3.5 Haiku, this is an excellent model if you haven't used it before. One other piece with this release is even the Claude 3.5 Haiku model has better performance on that agentic coding task benchmark than even the previous version of Claude 3.5 Sonnet. It's both a considerably cheaper model as well as a considerably faster model that is now going to be outperforming what we just had yesterday effectively for Claude 3.5 Sonnet on agentic coding tasks. While there were updates with the models, the big use case is going to be that computer use case that I had mentioned and demonstrated earlier in the video. This is going to make a ton of different applications available to us. It's very similar to something like Open Interpreter, which is effectively a framework that allows you to control your computer by leveraging essentially whatever model you like. And it's also similar to something like Multion, which is a company and an offering that's really focused on navigating the web and being able to control and interact the web similar to what they put out today. One of the key pieces here is they mentioned that we're teaching it general computer skills, allowing a wide range of standard tools and software programs designed for people. And, and I think this is a really important point to just think about for a moment, because previous to something like this, a lot of the agentic tools that we'd use is we'd have to use something like function calling or some sort of framework that would be able to perform API calls and interactions. And it would oftentimes become relatively cumbersome. Whereas if you're able to send off an agent and it has general capabilities of being able to really navigate the web, research the web, use your computer and the programs that you have, it opens up a new way to potentially think about this. Be because it seems like from this release that Anthropic's opinion might be that 
agents are going to be more akin to use the internet similar to how humans would rather than wiring up these proprietary models that are going to be calling APIs and having to have applications that have that agentic workflow. In terms of some of the actions that it can perform, it can perform actions essentially akin to how you would use a computer. So scrolling, dragging, zooming, you can type, you can click, basically all of those different interactions that you're used to. And the way that it will work is it's going to take a screenshot, it's going to send a response back, essentially being able to control your computer as if it was a human. Now, in terms of actually setting this up, it looks very similar to what you would already use within the Anthropic API. But the notable difference is the tools that you're going to be passing in are going to be what is used to control your computer. So you see these different objects, computer, text editor, as well as bash here. And here is the instruction, save a picture of a cat to my desktop. And then we also have this beta feature to use computer use 2024-1022. Take a look at Python or TypeScript or the shell script. You should be able to just run this and paste in your API key to try this out. Now, in terms of setting up a turn-based application, you will definitely have to set up some form of loop to effectively be able to use this. In terms of getting started with computer use, there's good documentation here. Provide Claude with computer use tools as well as a user prompt. Then Claude will decide to use a tool. And then for three and four, like they mentioned here, this is going to be what they refer to as the agentic loop. So we're gonna extract that tool input we're going to evaluate the tool on the computer, and then we're going to return those results. And, and it's going to go through that loop until the task is complete. Like I mentioned, I'm going to put a link within the description of the video for this. If you're interested, let me know in the comments below if you want a video to see how to set this up from scratch. And I'll go through these steps one by one and make an example as a resource that you can use to potentially build out an application with this. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.